Hey guys, this is just going to be a short little video today and we're going to be looking at Orthoceros. I absolutely love Orthoceros. It's one of my favorite stones that I use in healing um, and it is actually not a stone, it's a fossil. So this is what Orthoceros looks like. What we know about it is it's about 400 million years old and it's the fossil of a prehistoric squid-like creature. What you're seeing there, if you have a look at that pattern, is actually like the spine of what was the prehistoric creature. And if I turn it around, this side's not polished, but you can see that there's others all embedded into the, the stone there as well. So I love working with orthoceros that's cut in this shape specifically, because one of the main attributes of an orthoceros stone is that it's very aligning. Given that it's a stone built or structured on the actual spine of a prehistoric creature uh, that potentially was way back in our ancestral history, it's really good for our spine and for that sense of alignment. For this reason, um, when I'm working with Orthoceros, I only select pieces where that pattern, that spine pattern, is in perfect or near perfect alignment down the center of the cut of the stone. More often than not, so say 70 to 80% of the time when you see Orthoceros commercially in a crystal shop or even as specimens um, because they're quite popular for rock hounds, people that collect stones and like to display them around the house, there'll be kind of, you'll see the fossils sticking in all directions and that looks great. It, they make great patterns. Actually, right here, I've got a bowl that's carved out of Orthoceros. So you can see the Orthoceros patterns in there. And if you're not using it specifically in healing and for the alignment properties, then by all means go for those types of pieces. But if the alignment properties are important to you, and for me it's even more so because I use them for um, grounding my clients after healing by running the stone down the length of their spine. So I want alignment, spine on spine, straight, you get the idea. So I only choose pieces that have the um, spine bone down the center like that. Interesting fact, you guys might not know, I've actually got an online crystal shop called Evolve Crystals. That's www.evolvecrystals.net. And we do stock large orthoceros like this in the shop. And unlike other shops, I only, only stock these orthoceros that have the line going down like this. So in our most recent shot, my husband and I went through about 200 different orthoceroses in a box, one after the other after the other. How many crystals have we gone through today, hon? <laughs> and sorted out and have not made the cut. A few thousand, I reckon. <laughs> and we picked out about 20 or 30 that were in good alignment and the rest got discarded. So. Um, we, we hand select every single one and we guarantee with our stones that you're going to get a perfectly aligned orthoceros. So coming back to the healing properties, alignment, number one, excellent for alignment. Being a fossil, orthoceros is also our, almost like a time link to our ancestral history and our human evolution. All fossils do, car do carry this, not just orthoceros, um, but I work predominantly with orthoceros because of all the extra properties it has in addition to that. So um, it's, a, it's a fantastic stone to use when we're working on healing the past, uh, working with family trauma, doing past life regression work, um, healing family patterns or abuse patterns in the family, and even understanding our own history, our own personal and human evolutionary history. Another thing that Orthoceros is fantastic for is grounding. So I mentioned a moment ago that I use it to ground my clients after a session by simply running a really large Orthoceros, like one of these pieces, so you can see how big they are, down the length of my um, client's spine a couple of times. My hand's not very straight, there we go, like this, um, and just holding it at the tailbone for that grounding after a session. Another idea for if you're using it for grounding is you can place a large orthoceros stone 
just below your client's feet um, or just between their ankles and this will provide grounding throughout the healing session. With my orthoceras bowl, I often place this under the healing table. So that's maintaining grounding underneath the client and holding the space there. And in it, I'll burn some um, sage leaves or some, some nice aromatic smudge leaves there, which will, the tendrils of the smoke will just slowly and gently curl up around the table dur during the healing session. Only, only I'll light just one or two leaves so that the smoke is very small and subtle. And then um, not only is it holding space, holding the client centered and grounded during the healing session, but it's also a functional bowl for me to use to burn my herbs in too. And um, probably the last use that I use orthoceros for as well is connecting to earth energy. So this, I guess, is kind of a um, expansion on the grounding because any stones that are grounding are connecting us to earth energy. But orthoceros, because the fossil has actually been buried in the earth for 400 million years and buried under layers of sediment and everything, it carries so much earth energy within itself. So think about what that fossil would have witnessed over all that time. How many eons and transitions of earth cycles would it have witnessed? How many seasons and moon cycles and sunrises and sunsets and volcano eruptions and all of those amazing things. So it actually, it, it is so powerful with earth energy, which make, makes it great for anyone who's feeling a bit disconnected from nature, um, a little bit hard to it's anyone who's feeling it's a little bit difficult to settle so the energy is really high and and perhaps ungrounded and, and just needs to come back down feel grounded feel earth feel stable so for all of those reasons and more is why i absolutely love orthoceros and it's one of my all-time favorite grounding stones and just healing stones in general to use in the crystal healing room if you'd love to get yourself a beautiful large piece of orthoceros like these pieces here, then you can visit my online crystal shop www.evolvecrystals.net and we've got a few different sizes that you can choose from. Thanks for watching and I really, I really hope you enjoyed today's talk on orthoceros.